Monitoring peatlands worldwide is essential, a time uh, when we're starting to discuss ways in which we can uh, mitigate uh, climate change. What we need to know in terms of peatlands globally is where they are located, uh, in particular the boundaries of the peatlands, and once we know where our peatlands are located, then the next thing we need to know is their depth. And it's perhaps surprising that we still don't have good information on where they are and also how deep our peatlands are. If we combine area information with depth information, then we can start to calculate the carbon stocks in our peatlands. Once we've done that, we then need to move forward to think about the condition of the peatlands are they acting still as carbon sinks? So they're accumulating peat, accumulating carbon from the atmosphere, or are they now acting as carbon sources to the atmosphere, perhaps because of land use change and other forms of degradation? If we can identify areas needing restoration, then we can start to move forward to put into place actions to re-wet those peatlands.